Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Dougie and the squirrels are outdoors and they are going to explore today. They're sitting on a piece of wood cut out from a tree. And as you can see, there are cracks and holes. What do you think could be living in those holes? Asked Dougie. Maybe some ants have made their home in this piece of wood. Let's look on the other side. This gives us a clear view of the inside of the log. Look at all the tunnels and holes the ants have dug out to make their home. The log is dried up and the ants aren't living here anymore. But I wonder what's underneath the log. Dougie and the toys are safely out of the way. Let's knock the log over and look underneath. What do you see? Betty has spotted a teeny tiny red ant. And Tag has spotted a little crawling bug called a pill bug. And Dougie has spotted some sort of black centipede looking bug. Not sure what those are. Rolly has spotted some slugs. There's some light colored slugs, spotted slugs, and a darker black slug down here. Happy has spotted a worm. Worms are great for our garden soil. They provide the soil with lots of water and oxygen. Happy is not afraid to touch worms, but we need to make sure that worm goes right back to the soil, Happy. It needs to live in a dark, damp place. Can you spot any more of the creatures we've already seen inside the holes of the log? Whenever you flip a log or a rock, be sure to put it back because it's somebody's home. Whether it's an ant, a slug, or a worm, they all have a purpose on this earth. So we will put the log back on all of the creatures. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, our Sesame Street toys and I are going to play an alphabet game called Spot It, one of the favorites in our household. I'm going to show you two cards, tiny fans, and you are going to try and beat me in finding the matching letter or picture. This is what the cards look like. I see an L, M, O, D, T, and Q. Ready? I'm going to flip the card and you have to find the matching letter. Q! Did you beat me? See, there are two Qs. Let's flip another two cards and find the match. Find it before I do. G! Did you beat me, tiny fans? I bet you did. And... Ooh, tough one. Z. Mm -mm, okay, it's uh, L. Did you see it, tiny fans? F, the yellow F. Let's play one more time. And again, it's the letter L. Elmo is looking outside and there's blue sky. It's important to get outside every day, especially when there's sunshine to get vitamin D. The Sesame Street toys are taking our little tyke's red family van. Grover, you're going to be the driver today. Put on your seatbelt, please. Elmo, you're going to ride in the front passenger seat. 
and Big Bird is going to ride in the middle. Beep, beep. Off we go. Cross-country skiing. Oh, boy. Look at the white, fluffy snow. I have my skis on, and I'm on the track. Wow. I love being in the trees. Breathing in the fresh air. And the snow is so pretty. It just brightens everything. Cross-country skiing is a great family activity. It's fairly simple and inexpensive. Whoa! I almost fell over. Good thing the snow is soft. And I'm wearing my snow pants so I'd stay dry. Well, I better put the camera down and spend time with my family. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with Elmo and Abby in a beautiful garden and behind them a beautiful waterfall. Let's go explore, but read the safety signs. Warning, deep mud. Do not step in the pond. Look at all of those lily pads. We stumble across a very still grasshopper. Did you know that in some countries, grasshoppers are a yummy snack to eat? We continue our walk and find another pond full of giant lily pads and lily flowers. Look, there's a duck. I don't see any frogs or turtles or fish. There's a second duck very close to us. It looks like it's resting. But it soon sees us and starts to get curious. I wonder if it's looking for food. Remember, the best thing to feed ducks is whole grain cereals, oats, and corn. Bread isn't the healthiest for ducks. Oh, look, there's a fish. It looks like a koi fish. Gray in color, very large. Elmo's going to help me look for lily flowers. I want to get up close to one and see how big they are. There's a wooden walkway going through the pond over there. Let's go walk on that and see how close we can get to a lily. We finally find a beautiful pink one. Let's see how big the flower is compared to Abby and Elmo. And the lily pad is strong enough to hold them up so they don't float away. I hope you can get outside and explore two tiny fans every day. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are with Miffy the bunny and her mom. We are going on a nature walk. We're going to look for little creatures in the pond and different types of vegetation. Our walk begins along a rapid river. We need to step on the board so we don't get our feet wet in the pond. The kids have run up ahead and they found a very interesting plant. This is called a horsetail reed. And they're all over the forest. Horsetail grows in very dense clumps. Here's one that still has its head on. We continue our walk and notice someone has lost their toy and it's been hung in a tree. This is Lola the Llama. She's quite colorful. We hope Lola the Llama finds her owner soon. We walk a little farther with Poppy and notice something unusual in the tree. And it's moving. At first we thought it was a spider web, but we get a closer look and we realize they're tent caterpillars. 
They create silky tents that they use for shelter at night or during a rainstorm. Each tent contains about 150 to 400 eggs. You can see the tiny caterpillars moving inside. We finally reach the pond. We have our nets and containers. What will we find inside the pond? Whatever we do find, we need to release it in a timely manner so we don't harm any little creatures. In our first catch, we see a minnow, a dragonfly nymph, and some baby lily pads. We were very fortunate to find a water salamander. He was so cute. We didn't keep him in the container long because we didn't want to scare him. So we put our net in and caught a few more pond creatures. I find nature so fascinating. Each little creature has a purpose on earth and we must be kind to all creatures, big or small. We will take one more dip in the pond with our net and then it's time to head home for a healthy snack. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Macapaca and Iggle Piggle are looking for treasures for their nature basket. <laughs> Macapaca and Iggle Piggle have come to visit the gnomes. The gnomes have a gift of three chestnuts for their nature basket. One, two, three. Oh, where are we now, Macapaca? We're at the stone garden. Macapaca, which stones do you like? Ah, Macapaca likes the beautiful large quartz. Oh. Macapaca has also spotted a heart-shaped rock. Let's add these to our basket. Where are we? Ah, Iggle Piggle has brought us to the fairy garden. The fairies have a gift for Iggle Piggle and Macapaca's nature basket. Two beautiful shells. Let's add them to our basket. Oh, Macapaca, the squirrels have left us some pine cones for your nature basket. One pine cone, two, three, four. Let's add them to the basket. There we go. Now we have a wonderful nature basket. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.